hablarle en Wambisa. Okay. Te traduce a castellano y tú le traduces okay. en inglés. So he's gonna, this is a Wambisa tribe. It's different than Aguaruna, but they're very similar, but they're warring tribes. So what we're going to do now is he's going to tell us some of the customs and the traditions in Wambisa. And this gentleman's going to translate it into Spanish, from Wambisa to Spanish, and I'm going to have to translate it from Spanish to English then. He said he's very proud to be with us right now. He said he's never seen with so many people coming in like us, so many foreigners. So historically, back in like the times of their forefathers and their grandfathers, there's been a lot of fighting. You mentioned one part a few minutes ago about how there was more women in the Wampisa tribe than the Aguaruna, and they would try to steal the women, but he said now it's very, it's more, much more peaceful. They still have skirmishes, but it's not as bad. The bowls that you shoot traditionally drink the masato from. Masato, he said, is, is chewed yuca mixed with water and some sugar. These people are very peaceful, they're very calm, they're not, you know, they don't murder, they don't fight much. He said that his wife didn't want to be filmed because his wife is Aguarun and she feels the same way that they don't like to be filmed, which is why we came to this community as well. So this is a very, very similar in communities, but yet very different people. So she went outside the house then to not be filmed. He said any chance he can come to help us out or come to with us, that he'd be more than happy to come with us. Be fine. I just wanted to check on it.